I missed it. You were supposed to be up on the on Nelly. Yes, it's a Nelly. Yes. Ow! <laughs> Don't do that. Oh my goodness! Oh, I was talking about how perfect you guys are, and then you go and you you chew on me. <laughs> I guess all puppies do that. Yes. Eventually, they stop that behavior. Yes. I don't. <laughs> I know your crew. Your, your um, teething. I'm going to get the frozen teethers out here. See how they do with them. Yes. You gonna go up on Nelly or no? It's too bad that I wasn't able to get videos earlier on, but that's okay. We get them when we can. Yes, we do. Oh, miss, beautiful face. Yes, you got a beautiful face, you do, you do. Oh, I think I like it so much because you look so much like Abigail did, or yeah, does, so whatever, yes. Yes, okay, okay. What are you guys doing? You're killing each other? Yeah. You're getting into the eighth week? Well, getting into the eight plus week, and you're killing each other. No, you're not really killing each other, but yes. I will write on the blog how they did for the vet visit. It went quite well, quite fast. And uh, it was interesting to see whose heart rate was up and whose heart rate was down, uh, denoting uh, how relaxed they were and how not relaxed they were. Well. Nobody was over the kilt or shaking or anything else. No one shaked. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but I'll fill you in on the blog after I'm done with this play session. Yes. I think I have to also make my list for I'm very busy tomorrow. And that's before the family visit for the puppies. You are going to love them. Yes, you are going to love them. But it's going to confuse you because they're all great. Yes. Uh, unless you want a certain gender. Uh, and it's a must. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because they are all wonderful. Yes, and I don't say that lightly. They really are. Oh, you know, not a single one of them screams to get out in the morning when we come to get them. Oh, look at she's up on top. Um, not a single one. I just took them out, and nobody was screaming uh, to get out. Sometimes that happens at the end. They get very spoiled with co going out many times and and they just get demanding and want to go out, but not this crew. This crew counts on me taking them out and Dennis taking them out. And so therefore, they are patient souls. Yes, patient souls for sure. I am going to deworm them again before they go home and the day after your visit because I'm not I'm not deworming them just before in case it makes their stool soft uh, but I will do them again on probably Sunday night 
and uh, after the visit's over, and then I will do them a couple of days before they go home. Yeah, each one of them is different, so they'll be dewormed differently because they have different dates to go home, and I want to make sure that they get dewormed because this one thing that did happen while well, we did change a food and so I don't know which one it's from but we'll find out when we only deworm if it's the deworming that get, is giving them the loose stools uh, we shall see we'll find out as they get older I find that the deworming has less of an effect on their bodies but at this age it does. And if you bet wants you to deworm, it's absolutely silly because we will have done it already for you. So you don't have to tolerate loose stools and things like that, even though at this age, there's, it's very tiny and they weren't profuse. It's just that the stools were soft or runny and they were irritated their bowel system was irritated deworming does that look at this laying up on nelly this was a good idea to get them to climb <laughs> yes look at that Nellie is a fun toy because a bed because it puts them up high. Yeah. And it's very soft. Maybe I'll take it out for the visit. We'll see. Hey, what are you doing up there? You climb right up. From the slide part, yes. <laughs> and you jump right down. Hello, baby. The vet said, oh boy, these puppies are so soft. They are so soft. Yes, they have baths. They have baths. Nathan made jokes to her saying, you know, it's like uh, cleaning the house before the house cleaner comes. And I said, no, <laughs> they need to have three baths before they go home. And I explained to her that it's called conditioning them. Some people just wash them at the end. Um, but I think it's very important for them to get used to baths and trimming their feet and their nails. Yeah. And if you do it several times, they get very used to it. And uh, they don't mind it. It makes your life easier that way. So, I opened the gate of the X-Pen, and guess who jumped out? This one, this girl. She's the only one who jumps out. <laughs> I don't know why, because usually by this stage, they're all jumping out or trying to. Nope, she's just, as soon as you have the gate open, it's like, oh, I'm going to have fun i'm going to have fun yes i love her personality it's just so mischievous at times she reminds me of hazel <laughs> hazel's a fun fun dog and was able to get um i think socks is deep in seniorhood and she's getting him to play. 
I think it's wonderful. Some people, hey, cut it out. Some people go, well, my dog, my old dog, it's not fair to them. Well, guess what? Several that we placed went with older dogs and they're all like a puppy again. So in that respect, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Socks, it took a while, but... Um, what? Now everything is good and they laugh at... They laugh at Hazel. Yeah, I'm gonna close this. I know, <laughs> don't bite my foot. <laughs>